Well, hello there, guys. I hope you've all had a good Christmas. It's Crystal again from Saskatchewan, Canada. I'm trying a new location with my webcam here, and I've got a light above me. I don't know if the light's going to work out. If not, I've had a couple of other ideas up my sleeve. Um, I have a small Dollar Tree today, Dollar Tree haul, that I'd like to share with you, as well as a gift that I had gotten from a lady at the church that I uh, did a gift exchange with. And I forgot to show you that the other day, so I'm going to do that today. And then I'm hoping maybe there's somebody out there that it can help me explain. I have a purse that has a cross on it. And I know one of my female friends that live in the same town I do had told me, oh, that looks like a cross from, and I don't remember, the two female friends that I thought would have been the ones that told me about it. They don't remember me asking them. So I'm going to ask you guys. Maybe somebody out there knows. I'm hoping because this is driving me bonkers. I need to know what's going on here. And there's also an item that back when I did a few hauls ago, I did a dollar store. I did a value village. I did a few other places in that haul. Um, there's an item I forgot to haul. And I'm so upset with myself because every time my haul is done, I see this item and I think, ah, I forgot again. So, without further ado, I'm going to show you right now. I got it from Value Village and it was, I believe, $5.99. And I put it out right away, so that is why I didn't haul it. And uh, I absolutely love it. It is so cute. It is made out of glass. And I don't know why, but it's it's a snowman. And I don't know why, but on the top of the snowman, there's a hole in his hat. I'm not sure why. Obviously, maybe there was some kind of decorations or something there um, that disappeared by the time I purchased it. So, this is him. He is glass. Isn't he the cutest? I just love him. He is so cute. Super cute. I love him. And he is, like I said, he's glass and he's full of those, those wonderful styrofoam pieces. But he's got a little hole right here in his hat that I don't know what it's from. So then this part fell off of up here. So I thought, well, I'll stick it. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know where to put him. But nobody knows there's a hole there unless I mention it. So he's cute. I had to share. And he's, um, yeah, I don't know. He's he's beautiful. I love him. I love him. So, now that I got that out of the way, I'm happy about that. My husband went to work. And he's not feeling great. So, he's walking like a little old man. His back, his lower back is really hurting. And... Okay, now I'm going to do this purse. I have no idea. It's got a long strap on it. It doesn't say, well, wait a minute. Yes, it does. It says Montana West on the strap. Oops, it's upside down. Sorry about the noise. It's got metal stuff on it here. Montana West. I don't know. Looks like a very sturdy strap. Very sturdy. Purse is a little small. But, of course, I bought it because of the cross on it. And then somebody told me, oh, that looks like a cross from... And I stopped wearing it because I thought, oh... Oh, I don't want to give off the wrong, you know, it would be like me using, and uh, please do not get offended by what I'm about to say. Um, there are religions out there that are, they carry around a rosary or they have it on their vehicle uh, mirror, that kind of thing. That's not for me. That is not the type of uh, um, religion I am in, but um so if I bought something that had a rosary on it, eh, chances are I would kind of second guess. Not because I don't like it. They're beautiful. They are very beautiful. Um, I'd wear them as a necklace, but that's not what they're meant for. So, and I'm not 100% for sure, uh, uh, for certain on what they're for. So I don't want to do that. But this purse has legs, or feet, I mean, not legs. The back of it has a zipper there nice zip nice big zipper it's very fairly deep 
It's got a little pocket that is an actual pocket. The inside has, and remember, this was a secondhand purse when I purchased it, so it's not going to be a brand new condition. But it's got a side pocket or side zipper. Um, it says Montana West on the inside. And then it's got like a little, almost a divider type pocket here. Whoops, here that is also got a zipper. And then there's a pocket on this side. Is it one? No, it's two. It's two. So, I mean, it's, whoa, attacking my necklace. <laughs> and then this is the front. Now, if anybody can help me know what this is all about, I would greatly appreciate it. I love the purse. I love the coloring. I love the pink. And the pink, it kind of has like a, oh, it's really hard to explain and show in this light. If you can see, it kind of looks like that. Like it's almost like my necklace. My necklace, oh, you can't see that either. Yeah, I'm not too sure I like this idea. Um, as a matter of fact, pardon me, guys, I'm going to move this. Okay, I'm back. Pardon me if you guys are, uh, if the camera is moving a little bit, I, I'm sorry. Okay, once again, there's the purse, and now you can see the little bit of, um, print that's on it. I'm going to turn this light off. Oh, that doesn't, well, it kind of helps. See, and then I noticed that it is, it is kind of cracked down here, but that's okay. A little bit of glue can fix that real fast. But, um, yeah, so this, I don't know what kind of a cross with the, the background here like this. I don't know. Uh, maybe somebody can help me. That would be great if you can. Okay, I will get into this quick little Dollar Tree haul. A few items that I had purchased. And I think I got some of my own items in this bag. I just kind of threw them in here when I was getting out of the vehicle. Okay, I had somebody suggest to me that when I'm showing my jewelry, maybe a red background. So, picked up some red felt. Um, now this is not silver jewelry. It's not, you know, but it might help to see, I mean, obviously I'm not gonna show the, a roll of it. See, like that. And then my, I could show you my bracelet. That'll work, I'll do that. Give me one second to take it off. It's a double layer bracelet. I think I might have hauled it. I'm not 100% sure. Um, it's a bracelet I purchased from Walmart. And I'm just trying to untangle it. Okay. That's the bracelet. It's got a cross in the middle. It's got like a, what is that? Let go. It's got a cross. It's got wings. And then it's got a, it looks like an anchor with a heart on it. Okay. It doesn't show up like better. I don't know why. Maybe that's when I need the light on. Okay, bear with me, guys. This light might flicker when I turn it on. And if it does, I'm sorry. I don't know why it does that. Come on. Yeah, see? Okay. So there is the bracelet. It's not showing up. It's kind of all coming together. But anyways, it's got kind of like rhinestone-y on the heart and on the... Um, the wings as well as the heart that's on the thing. And then it's got, let go, let go. Um, then the, it's attached to like some beading. And then this is just a gold. Yeah, anyway, that wasn't part of the haul or part of the, the video. Okay, so I'll just wrap this back up again. I'll get it to work. I will get it to work. You have no fear. Okay. A few items. I will just get them all out of the bag here so that I don't have to do it later or during the video. There's a few items, one of which I picked up, and I thought it was super cute, but half of it was missing. 
Um, I didn't mention anything at the till because I already had plans for it. My favorite color, and it came with a navy blue one. But this one, if you can read that, looks like it said it was half a heart best friends. So the navy one did not have, and you can use it as like this way, or you can use it as like a key ring, however. And then it's just kind of attached to, it's like a, I want to say like a hair elastic is what it looks like to me. It's stretchy. And I mean, it's light enough a person could hang it on their purse or their keys or their mirror in their vehicle, whatever. But I got it because of the, the teal color. I love teal. I'm back to wearing my teal watch band again. And I'm taking these off. I don't like looking at you guys as though I'm trying to get you to look up my nose. <laughs> That's not what my plan is. Um, and the name brand was Eye Candy. And it even says on there, for you, for me. But it didn't have the heart, the other half of the heart on the one that I gave one of my kids. His favorite color is navy blue. So I'm excited about that. Then I picked up for buck 25. This is, it says ages 12 and up. But you know what? I don't think it matters. It's a scrunchie with hearts on it. I think that's super cute. A little bit of Valentine's Day stuff that I picked up. Um, I'm out of diamond painting. I have no more diamond paintings to work on, you guys. I had to do something. So I seen this. This is me. It's another keychain diamond painting. But look, it's a coffee cup. Ah, you guys, it's a coffee cup. Love it. Love it. And of course, when you get your diamond paintings, it doesn't... From what I've seen, it doesn't matter where you get them from. You get everything that goes with it. You get, with these guys, you get the little key ring. See, I need to move this just a smidge. Sorry, guys. You get your little key ring. And you get... Oh. That's what it is. This one has all the numbers and stuff on it. And then this one, this came with it. Just as I was about to brag about everything. You get this little paper, which you usually get with these anyway, but that's so weird that you, what, you do the diamond painting and then you attach it to the wood? I don't know, but that's the first time I've ever had that happen. Um, and then you, like, this is like a sticker, but you do the diamond painting. Oh, now that one. Just one sec, guys. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, guys. I, I do apologize. Okay, so this is really strange. I don't know. I've never had to deal with it like this. That is really super strange really super strange but whatever and on the back it shows it as though you haven't put the diamonds on it and then on the front is what they look like so yeah I guess I should have read it says in the content is wooden shape diamond painting sticker rhinestones sorting tray silicone clay diamond painting pen metal keychain and instructions that's really weird, but usually in every diamond painting that you get, regardless of where you get it, I apologize, sorry guys, you get your wax, you get your tray, and you get your pen. That is what you get in every diamond painting that you purchase. So, okay. That's okay for me. And then, oh, I better put that keychain with it, because if I don't, I will lose it. And these are the beads. Three, seven. There's not very many beads, but I mean, it's not a very big keychain. So, beads go with that. I also picked up another one that I thought was cute too, but it's going to be the same thing. Which is so weird. I, why didn't I notice that it was a wooden piece before? But anyway, this one is a cupcake. Same idea, but it's a cupcake. And then on the back again. 
yeah, that's that. And then I found, oh, this was cute. This is a hair clip in the shape of a heart. In the shape of a heart, you guys. That is super cute. Look at that. Look at that. And I'm kind of sad because I don't know if you remember in a couple haul, a couple hauls ago, I po I um, hauled a brown claw, claw clip. Not the one with the flower, but the other brown kind of sparkly one. Well, today I went to take it out of my hair and show a friend of mine. Yeah, look at my tiny little bun. Like, I've got a very tiny little bun. My hair is so baby fine. Um, and the clip itself broke in my hand. Like, it came like this and would not go back together. And if it did, it was crooked. So, it's broken. It's garbage. But this, this is super cute. I love it. This will be perfect for my, my baby fine hair. Love it. And then I seen, I don't know if, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Wait a minute. I thought I picked up more than one, but maybe I did not. I did a little video as well when I was in the dollar store um, of the stuff that they have. So um, I picked up two of these eyeglass cleaning um, cloths because I don't know where mine went. I seem to lose those more than I have them. So for a buck twenty-five, can't go wrong, right? This one is an extra large one, it says, and then this one is just that's the design on it. And this one is just purple. Okay, and then I seen these cute, cute, cute. Crystal Waters Winter Berry Scented Hand and Body Soap. It doesn't smell too bad from what I can smell out of the package. I don't know. It's just a, I don't know, a green bar. I don't think it has any sparkle or anything on it from what I can see. Nope. It's just a green bar. I don't think there's any scent to it, but okay. Then I found another one. This one is Crystal Waters Winter Apple Scented. That's not a very good thumbnail. We won't worry about that. Then I found this, and I, I, I had to. I had to get this. It's a wooden sign that you could paint, obviously, if you wanted to. And it says blessed, but look at the hanging piece. Look at this, you guys. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, that is so beautiful. A wooden wall decor. I love it. I, oh, I love it. And it's got that, uh, what do you call that? Tw twine is what it's beaded onto. You can see that right there. Oh, I love it. Blessed. Oh, I love it. I can't remember what else they had, but I'm going to paint this. I have um, a teal paint that I'm going to paint the word blessed and then maybe use white in the background or something. I just, oh, this is beautiful. I had to have it. Had to have it. Then this, I don't know. Have you guys ever seen these? They're coffee blotting paper. Timu has the same idea. They're, um, this one is 50 pieces of scented blotting paper. Refreshing scented papers blot away excess oil and perspiration from face without disturbing mace makeup. To use, press sheet gently onto shiny facial areas. Repeat if necessary. And I had purchased these from Timu. Um, and they do work. So let's hope these do too. I don't know. 50 sheets, and they're very thin. They're like a tissue paper. Very, very thin, and they work, like I said. So, give those a shot. And these, um, this was a diamond, or diamond. It says diamond brand on it. Um, this is a, what do you call it? A nail file. And I like buying these big, thick ones, because then I can, like, cut into three and make three out of it. Have one in my purse and one, you know, in the bathroom or what have you. Um, 
I got these ceramic eye wands, instant cooling effect. To me, they looked like oversized Q-tips. I thought they were pretty cute. Um, it doesn't say how to use. After applying your favorite eye cream, glide the ceramic tip gently under and around the eyes in a sweeping motion. That's all it says. It doesn't, everything else is not in English. Um, how to use right up there. And the rest is not in English. So I'll give those a shot. They probably would be really good. And I think they're, yeah, they're just one end. Um, I think they would be really, really good with um, putting them in the fridge. You could probably put them in the fridge for a little bit and they'd be really cool. Um, cool, cool item and cool as in temperature. And you put those on your face. Okay. Then I got this because I now have a tablet. I wanted to use this to put it on my table and use it. I think it would be, it's very flimsy, so I think my laptop would be too heavy. But, yeah, for buck twenty-five, yeah, you can't go wrong at the dollar store. I don't care what you're buying. Um, then I got another diamond painting thing, but this one didn't say anything about it being wooden. This is what I'm used to. And just because I don't have it, I bought it. I need more diamond painting stuff to do, so. And I haven't quite put in another order with Timu, but I will be. But this one is a parrot. So cute. Look at him. Look how bright the colors are. Just vibrant. And everything comes in that. Your diamond painting sheet, your sorting tray, your rhinestones, your silicone clay, diamond painting pen, and instruction sheet. So, I will be getting this going tonight. <laughs> then I grabbed, it's a money counterfeit pen. Apparently, the ink turns dark if the bill is forged. Um, the instructions on the back say, Mark the bill in a lightly colored area with no printing. If the mark shows up as bright yellow, the bill is valid. If the mark goes dark and stays dark, the bill is forged. The mark will disappear after a few hours. I don't know. Have you guys ever seen these? I thought I'd give it a shot. Why not? Yeah, why not? Buck 25. And then I got, I needed some more of this. It's a lavender cuticle oil pen. I don't know if you guys have heard of these or seen these before, but basically all it is, I'll take it out and show you. For those of you with gel nails, I don't know that I would recommend it for those of you that use the press on or the glue on nails, um, but with gel or I believe you could use it with acrylic. But all it is, is it comes looking like this. One end has a brush, the other end does not. The end with the brush, you take the lid off. This end at the bottom, you just twist it. And you will have cuticle oil. This is brand new, so it'll take a little bit. You will have cuticle oil come to the br bristles. And then you could, like, use it. It's not coming out yet. I'll use it on one of my dark nails so that you guys can see. Come on. Sorry, my hand is right in your face, though. I didn't mean that. I apologize. Come on. Come on. It will come out, and then when it comes out, holy Anna. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Okay, well, it's not even getting my skin wet. Oh, do you see the drop of cuticle oil? And then you just brush it on. I got way too much now. I'm going to have to do all my nails. And you just go around the cuticles. That's it. And, um, like, look how shiny my skin is. I'm sure you can see that. Like... That's a lot that just came through because I was pushing the, or twisting it so much. Oh, and that lavender smell, that smells like an essential oil, lavender. I'll just do this hand because of the fact that I've got so much out. 
these you guys these are perfect to have in your purse they're they're i love them because cuticle oil it will help your skin it helps the cuticle around your your nail bed from being dry and all of that and causing um what do they call um oh what do you call those uh hang nails and what i like to do once i'm done doing this so i like to always also go underneath underneath my nail and then that's just it helps so you don't get lifts <laughs> i almost spit those words out literally lifts you don't have any lifting happening and then once I do that, I, um, you, it's really good. I don't know if you guys know this, but it's really good. Then I put my lotion on. Um, um, when you're done with this, I'm concentrating too hard because I can't speak straight. Then when I'm done, I put the lid on it. It's not going to leak more. And then I just rub my nail, um, even under here, so that you've got your blood going up to your fingertips because that promotes growth, right? So they say to do that with lotion too. Sit there for five, ten minutes and put your lotion on. And um, yeah, so my lotion is over there. Otherwise, I would use it. Oh, yeah, go right up to your eye. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho, so that's that. And then that's, don't mind them. They need a fill, which I'm going to be getting done shortly into the new year. Um, actually, day after my birthday, I'm getting them done. I'll get them done on the 19th of January. So, happy birthday to me. <laughs> um, okay, and then I found, I found this. It is a Cosmic Color Liquid Lipstick Nude. Apparently it's new and it's cruelty free. And it doesn't say the color other than nude. Is what I got. I will swatch it for you. Now I just hope this isn't, no it won't be. Actually, we'll go down here. So it's not too bad. Not too bad. I just don't like a lot of times when you get from the dollar store, I find anyway, um, that it makes your lips either feel really sticky or really dry or, you know, and it's like, this is no fun. And you don't end up keeping it. But, um, this doesn't look like it'll make my lips very sticky. It's it's got a bit of shine. A little bit of shine to it. Maybe I put on too much. Who knows? We'll find out. And then I seen this and I thought, it's mine. <laughs> my favorite color nail polish. The color teal. Matches my watch. I love it. And then I've got two more items to show you. And it goes with my my beautiful little ball that I got. It didn't come together, <laughs> but it, you'd think it did. And it goes, see, I love teal. See, my coffee cup is teal. And then I found two more items to kind of go with, well, three more items. They kind of all go together, and I'll probably be trying them tonight. But one is a rose facial cleanser. It's really hard to read. It's a uh, plastic bottle, but it's really hard to read that writing there, even if I put something up to it. Yeah, it says Rose Facial Clean Cleanser on it. Uh, what does it say on the back? Directions, apply to wet face, gently massaging with your fingertips for 60 seconds. Avoid contact with mouth and eyes. Rinse and pat, rinse and pat face dry. So that's the cleanser. And then I've seen this stuff and it is in a glass container. Rose Facial Oil. Um, it says 
dispense two to three drops into the palm of your hand, apply with your fingers and pat the formula into skin. Allow one to two minutes for the oil to set in before applying additional products. So that's this one. Now my hand is in the way, you definitely can't see it. Where's the front of it? Where's the front? Right there. Yeah, it's not easy to see. Whoa! And it's got an eyedropper top. This one is a pump. And then the last one, Rose Petal Sheet Mask with higher hyaluronic acid. It's a sheet of six patches. And it says clean and dry cleanse and dry face before using. Remove sheet from foil bag and gently peel off petal. Place on desired area of face and then smooth over. Repeat using the remaining petals on it, any area of the face as needed. Leave on for 15 to 20 minutes. Remove petal or petals and toss in the trash. Do not flush. Massage in any excess serum left on the face. What can I use as a thumbnail? Hmm. I don't really have anything here that I can use as a thumbnail. Oof. That's not good because everything is so lightly colored. Oh, I hit myself in the face yet. No, let's not use that. Um... I'll use my my gift from my from my church friend. Okay, so the gift I got from my friend that's the end of my Dollar Tree haul. I'm um, looking around. There's nothing else I need to tell you guys. No. Okay. This is what I got, and I am like, I've seen them out there, and I thought I need one. I need one so bad, but I have not gotten one until now. This is a. Remote control three piece flameless LED candle set. Again, it's not a Timu item. I don't know where she got it from. I don't even know if she knows about Timu. Hmm. Maybe I need to tell her. <laughs> and the thing that I thought was super cool is it says on the side realistic LED candle set with wireless remote flameless technology offers the beauty of flickering candlelight without the fire risk made with genuine candle wax for authentic look and feel and cordless battery operation you guys this is amazing um, I'll show it to you this is how it came Okay, so there's your remote right here, and then your three candles. Now, I will turn one candle on. Sorry about that squeakiness. I'll turn this off. Do you see that? And it's just a candle inside. But it, you can't, I yeah, you're not going to be able to see it. But it does feel like an actual candle. Like... No, the candles, there's no scent. I thought maybe. I don't know. Just giving it a shot. But that is beautiful, you guys. And and all three of them like that? Like, on-off switch there. Um, it, it requires three AAA batteries included. The remote, the remote requires one CR2025 3-volt battery, which is also included. So... Yeah, loving this. Loving it. Beautiful. Beautiful. She she knows me. She really, really does. Um, when I said to her, I love candles, she's like, I had no idea. I said, I do. I love them. I love them. And I love these ones that are uh, um, flameless, that they look like they're being lit. And I'm just going to put it back in the box. So pardon the noise. I'm going to do it away over here. There. Done. Put it away. All done. It's all in its box. All done. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then, with that, I got a card. 
that says peace and love with a cardinal on the back as well, which is super cute. Inside it says, wishing you a joyful holiday season. And then her message from me said, this one I can read. To Crystal and family with lots of love, God bless and watch over you always. And then from her. I love it. Beautiful. Also, I got a box of pot of gold chocolate. See? <laughs> I love chocolate. As long as it's got nuts or caramel or something like that in it, I love it. Yeah, so that is my haul for that. And I haven't forgotten. We have to go through this. Let me put this oil stuff in the bag here. Oh, yeah, and that this felt stuff I picked up also from the dollar store. I didn't think I told you that. Um... It is 11.75 by 42 inches. So I will put that over with my video making stuff. <laughs> you guys, I'm at 140 subscribers. Like, wow. I need to, I really need to get in there and use YouTube Studio or something. Do my homework and find out how to go about, you know, um, adding, you know, um, pictures and adding prices and all of that stuff in comment section and all of that. I need to figure all that out and, and giving a shout out to any other, um, YouTube creators, hall creators. <laughs> I, I really need to figure out how to do that. But for right now, I'm going to have to do it verbally like this because I don't know how to do it the other way. But I'm learning slowly. My son tried the other day to show me how to cut a video, shorten it, and then, you know, if it's a 20-minute video and you only want it into, like, a 10-minute video, he's like, okay, Mom, you have to do this and then this. And then start back from where you ended. And I'm like, oh, it doesn't get rid of the whole video before I started. No, 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 he said so. We'll see. We'll we'll work on it. Okay. Our everyday miracles. We need to go through one of them today. Alright. My the last one. I did I believe was I could see peace instead of this. I believe this is the last one I did. So today's is in my defenselessness, my safety lies. And then the other side says, it is not danger that comes when defenses are laid down. It is safety. It is peace. It is joy, and it is God. That is that. Whoops, those go back in the box. At the bottom. <laughs> and that is our everyday miracle for today good thing about those is there's nothing that says, you know, December 25th or, you know, so. Okay, prayer cards. We got two of those to read and then the haul is done. My video is done for the day. Okay, so today's prayer I should have turned off my light in the bathroom. Didn't think. Today's prayer is, your compassion, Lord, is great. Preserve my life according to your laws. Psalm 119, verse 156. Okay. Those. I really 
enjoy this, you guys. You know, the first person I ever watched do a Timu haul was Hey Everybody. And then it became where, you know, at first I was watching her and I was thinking, okay, well, this is different. Not something I could ever do, I don't think. And give her credit for doing this. And, and then I thought, you know what? I used to do this with my dad all the time. I used to sit there and do videos once a week with dad when we were part of a multi-level marketing company and everybody loved the videos. And I thought, you can do this. You've done it before. What are you talking about? What are you trying to down yourself and, and, and make yourself feel like you can't do this? So I thought, okay, well, I'm going to do a video and I'll give it a shot. I'm by myself. I, I don't know. It's not going to be the same, and of course, I was setting myself up for failure right away. Of course, before I had even begun the race, I was setting myself up for failure. And then I thought, okay, I did the video. Okay, I did another video. Okay, did another couple videos. And then I was like, okay, well, my numbers aren't rising, so I don't know that I'm going to continue this. And right away, I, I became very... Um, not sure what the right word is. Very hard on myself, as always. I've done that for many years. Um, in January here, I'm going to be 47. And uh, for all my years of living, all of them, I've been very, very hard on myself, always. So when I finally decided, you know what? I'm not going to stop doing videos. I'm going to continue. My numbers don't go up, oh well. This is a way that I can kind of get out any frustrations I have. I can I can talk to people without leaving home. Um, I'm going to continue doing this. And then my numbers started to climb. And now, I think back then, I when I decided I wasn't going to anymore or was thinking about it, I think my numbers were at maybe 20 subscribers, if that. And... I'm now at 140. Like, where does this all come from? Where? I am just so humble, you guys. I am so, so blessed and so, you don't even know. You don't even know, you guys. This is, this is just so, the feeling is, is, is shocking and and obviously proof I can do it because whatever it is I'm doing, I'm doing right because people keep coming back. People keep subscribing. And I thank all of you, every one of you out there, even if you watch the video for five minutes and decide, yeah, no, not for me. Or you watch it for 15 minutes and decide, no, not for me. That's fine. I'm totally fine with that. I'm not perfect. Nobody is. Um, if there's content that I have out there that maybe you guys don't like or one of you doesn't like or a couple of you, that's fine too. Uh, I don't expect you to watch my channel and be, um, well, now you've watched it. Now you got to stay and subscribe and hit the like button and all, all of the alerts and notifications. And No, I don't expect any of that. Um, I am just super thankful, super grateful that you, you give me 30 seconds of your time. So I want to thank everybody. Thank you very much. My new subscribers. And I wish there was a place I can go, um, to find out where my subscribers are from. Are they from the States? Are they from Saskatchewan? Like Canada, you know, um, and if I could send out a personal thank you card to everybody, I would. Um, because being the type of person that I've been for almost half my life, um, it's really hard for me to accept positive feedback and stuff like that. It's always been very difficult. So this is kind of a struggle, but... Every day I'll share with my husband and say, you know what? I'm at X amount of subscribers. And he's like, wow, good for you. Good for you. And I'm like, I can't believe this. So um, I said it once. I said it twice. I'm going to keep on saying it. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. I'm forever grateful. 
um, you guys are the best. And I wouldn't be where I am without any of you. So with that said, before to close out, I am going to read the last prayer card. Well, not the last one, but the second batch of prayer cards. So today's prayer for today is, do I have this the right way? Yes. It says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. First John 1 verse 9. All right, and with that said, you guys, I am go going to, maybe I'll work on that video. I had somebody comment that she would like to see a video of me doing the crosses. So maybe I'll do that tonight. Maybe. I'll see if I can get out a couple of the videos of the different, um, the different crosses because I've got a couple different um, size sizes. And uh, so maybe I'll give that a shot. Do that kind of video tonight. Or maybe I'll do the diamond painting video. Or maybe I'll just do the diamond painting, no video with it. <laughs> but anywho, thank you again, everybody. Thank you so, so much. If I don't see you between now and New Year's, have a very, very, very safe and happy New Year's. Um, all the best to each and every one of you in 2024. I will be back. <laughs> this is not goodbye. It's just... See you later. <laughs> I was thinking, ta-ta for now. Um, that is quite a dark color. Now that it's... And it doesn't rub. Hmm. Anywho. Um, yeah, you all have a very, very good and safe... New Year's if you do go anywhere um, and thank you all for the very I, I've only been doing this since September but I want to say thank you all very much for a um, for a wonderful last three months um, this has been so much fun this has been and I'm not stopping now no way no how I am not stopping I love what I'm doing and I'm going to continue. So you will definitely be seeing more of me. And on that note, everyone take care. And until my next video, you stay blessed. Bye for now.